Hi everybody, this is Al Monteleone from Dependable Dental. Today we're going to be uh, showing how to do a cleaning on a Midmark M11. Uh, this will translate to other units, the Midmark M9 and other competitors' units, uh, the Tutnauer and some other units out in the field uh, also. Um, but uh, first we're going to start by cleaning this unit up. As you can see, it needs a, a nice little cleaning. First, which we've already done, we will drain the unit just by pulling the hose down. We want to make sure that we get all the old water that's in there out. And you're going to need uh, probably four gallons of water to um, finish, to go start to finish with the process. Fresh gallon of distilled water, we're going to fill it up into the reservoir. We have the Midmark Speed Clean. It's typically around $40 a bottle. Very new bottle. Make sure that the seal comes off nice and neat. Now it has striations of one ounce per line on the side of the bottle. You have to take a nice look and you want to pour one ounce right into the cool chamber. So pour it in there and take a double check. Better to have a little bit more than a little bit less. Put that aside. I'm going to close the chamber. Make sure that it's not closed. Now we've programmed cycle number two, pre, uh, program number two, to have the six minute cleaning cycle. That is the uh, 270 degrees for six minutes. At this point, we're going to hit start. Chamber will fill automatically, go through its cleaning cycle, and after it's done venting, uh, sterilization and venting, um, we could stop the cycle at that point, let it cool down, drain it, and then do a, uh, a cycle before we fill it up for good. Okay, we're back. We've been uh, waiting for the Midmark M11 to go through its sterilization six minute cycle. And if you watch it, it's uh, saying ready to vent. It's got five seconds. The fireworks and the excitement are gonna happen very shortly. All right, right now the internal solenoid system has opened up. It's automatically venting the chamber. This is something that it, you can do it unattended. You don't have to pay attention to this machine like the manual machines. Eventually when the chamber depressurizes and we get down to about zero on the PSI pressure, the door will beep four times and it will open up slowly to vent. At that point, we're gonna stop the cycle uh, from going into its drying cycle. We're gonna drain it, fill it up one more time and then do a three minute cycle. And then after that, we'll drain it and refill it again, be ready to use. We've completed our venting cycle. We're going to open up the door and stop the cycle at that point, and we're going to drain uh, our reservoir. Get any of the residual dirt and our cleaning solution out. Now's a good time to wipe it down with a damp cloth inside the chamber. We also like to take this used cleaning solution and uh, dip the trays in it. Uh, we could, if you have like a weekend, you could dip the tray in it. It'll uh, come out surprisingly clean by not really doing anything uh, other than letting it soak in there. Uh, typically, you'd have to put the tray in because it's long and then turn it over and get the other side clean. So what I like to do before I fill it up, I'm gonna just let a little water run through the, uh, the reservoir. So it's going in one end, out the other, just so that we get a, a quick little rinse before we fill it up for the rinse cycle. You can actually see some of the sediment coming out. Okay, nice. We're going to put that back up. And we're going to need to put about a gallon and a half of water in here. Okay, as you can see, we filled up the uh, reservoir into the green. We're going to close the door. And we're going to run a three minute unwrap cycle and just push start. 
once that completes its three minute cycle and the door opens, we will open the door, drain it once again and then fill it up and you're ready to go. Thank you for watching.